Good afternoon. I'm Grant Lynch, chairman of Talladega Super Speedway. I was talking to some fans the other day about what they think makes a really competitive race and why they like to go to different racetracks. And what they told me was they love to see a lot of lead changes, a lot of different drivers get an opportunity to lead a race, and then finally, they like to see a lot of competition back through the pack with different cars getting an opportunity to pass somebody you know, throughout the whole race. And so with, with NASCAR's new loop system that they have at all the racetracks, where they can tell where the cars are almost the whole way around the track, you, we can get some statistics that can back that up. So we decided to do a comparison of how does NASCAR's most competitive track, Talladega Super Speedway, stack up against some of our competitors. So we chose Atlanta Motor Speedway, Bristol Motor Speedway, and Charlotte Motor Speedway to do a little comparison. If you look at the chart up to my left here, we, picked, we took five years of racing to get a good average, and then we averaged out the following statistics from those five years of racing at these four tracks. We looked at the number of laps. Talladega historically has the least number of laps because we're obviously the biggest track. Bristol actually has 500 laps. Charlotte, on average, because they had a rain-shortened race, had 365 laps. Atlanta has around 229, 329, and we normally have 188, but we've had some races that have been lengthened, so we averaged over the five years 191 laps. And this is where it really gets important to look at the difference of the competitive nature of Talladega Super Speedway when we compare it to our peer group. Number of green flag passes, that's a, again a car passing somebody on the track anytime during the race. 1,720 for Bristol, 2,646 for Charlotte, 2,341 for Atlanta, and then Talladega, 11,826. We looked at lead changes. This is a, just a change in the lead on a specific lap during the race by any driver. Lead changes for Bristol, average of 12 lead changes at Bristol, an average of 30 lead changes at Charlotte, 26 lead changes at Atlanta, 59 lead changes at Talladega. And finally, this is, a, this is different drivers that actually lead a lap. Six leaders, six different drivers on average, led a lap at Bristol, 15 different drivers at Charlotte, 11 different drivers at Atlanta, and 23 drivers for Talladega Super Speedway. So basically what you're seeing in almost all these categories, not only do we beat them individually, on a race-by-race -race basis of being a much more competitive racetrack, but a lot of times we beat two of the three and almost beat them two of the three on almost all of the, all of the criteria that we're looking at. So when you talk about good competitive racing with lap after lap of potential lead changes, lap after lap of cars being passed constantly on the racetrack, there are no other racetracks that can stand up to Talladega. And that's why we say this is more than a race this is Talladega.